So we've made a great looking site, okay? We've got a good looking photography site right here. And we have a way for our clients to log in to their own portal by clicking this button right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Click that and we come across this ugly native WordPress login that no one really likes to see. This has a WordPress logo, it's not your logo. It's got a, a standard login interface, things like that. We, we want to spruce this up a little bit. And Elementor has just came out with a great feature for pop-ups to where basically we can make our own login pop-up with Elementor's pop-up builder. And I apologize in advance because the word pop-up will be coming out of my mouth quite a lot this video. So I do apologize for that in advance. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to navigate to templates, pop-ups, add new, and let's name this login forbidden word. All right, so we're gonna load up the builder for this. And they have quite a few pre-made templates. Uh, they have said that it's over 100 pre-made templates that you can choose from. Great looking designs. These, these inspire us so much to come and figure out what else we can do with the, with the pop-up. Um, and they even have one over here for logins and things like that. So it's we're not the first to think of this. This is a great way to have a pop-up for a login. It's just all on how you design it. So let's go ahead and do one from scratch. Let's go ahead and add our, I'm sorry, let's add the login widget right to our builder. And we're just gonna style it up a little bit. So let's add some padding to the section. Let's go ahead and add 75 just to make it look good. And then all of our pop-up settings are gonna be in the bottom left-hand corner underneath this cog. So we could change the width to be whatever we want it to be. About, let's just do 450. The height, fit to height, or fit to content, fit to screen or custom. If we do fit to screen, it'll do uh, top to bottom. If we do custom, we have that navig to be able to custom height right here with the slider. Let's do fit to content. And then we have the position. So we can do left, middle, right, bottom, top, center, whatever we want to do. We're just going to stick with the middle for now. Overlay allows us to have this transparent black or whatever color you choose. We could choose to turn that on or off. I'm going to keep that on for now. Then we have a close button right up here, which is right there. We can toggle that on or off. Uh, we have the entrance animation. So we have the fade in left, uh, zoom in. We have a lot of different options for this. And I would suggest you go in and just test them out and see what you guys like. Some of them are a little cheesy, like something like that one. It reminds me of the old PowerPoint transitions. Uh, but there's a bunch that you can try and, and use. And then we have our animation duration. So however we long, we want however long we want that animation to be. Under general settings, we have the title, status is draft. Preview, we can preview dynamic content. If we have the dynamic content, we can just see what's going to look like on certain pages. And then we have the style. So the pop-up background, we can choose different color backgrounds right there, which I think I'm going to do that. And then we can also do an image as well. And we have our gradient options for that too. Border type, if we wanted to do a solid border, maybe make it 10 and then we can do it white, something along those lines. And then of course we have our border radius if we want to make that rounded. Box shadow, same thing. We really can't see it when it comes to this overlay. And then we have the overlay colors here. So if we want it to be a white overlay, we can do that. We could do any color that we want it to be. Just make it as transparent or as, as non-transparent as you want. So we'll do something along those lines. And also you could do an image for the overlay. Close button, we have the inside or outside. So you can see if we choose outside, it goes up here, top left, top right. And if we have inside, it stays on the inside there. Vertical position, so if we want it to be at the bottom or if we want it to be at the top, we have those options. And then we could do percentage or pixel. And we have horizontal options. 
We can also choose different colors for that and size. So we have those abilities to do that. And of course, we have our advanced options. So we can show the close button after a certain amount of time, automatically close after a certain amount of time, prevent closing on overlay. So meaning if they click on this overlay, it'll close it. We can keep that the way it is and it'll allow for us to do that. Or if we turn this on, they have to click this X button in order for it to close the overlay. Same thing with the prevent closing on escape key. If they press the escape key, it'll close. But if you turn it on, it will not. Disable page scrolling. So basically if the pop up, pop up, pops up, and you don't want them to be able to scroll, you can just turn that on. And the avoid multiple pop-ups is useful, especially if you're showing them multiple pop-ups for sales or things like that. Doesn't really apply in this case because this is a special case for them to log in. But if you have multiple sales going on and you have multiple pop-ups, it allows you for just for them to only see one of those pop-ups so they don't have 50 of them coming up in their face. And then we have all the other ones that we have here. So let's style our login form right here. Take off the label, make the button full width. Let's style this with the button. We have the text color black, background color white. We have the fields. See, so we can make those bigger or smaller. Let's make those about that size. And then we have the form itself that we can do the link color and things of that nature and the row gap if we don't want to make that a little bit bigger. So we have all of those different options. The additional options to redirect after login, you just basically copy your, uh, your site link, put it here and then put in like maybe their dashboard page. I don't have a dashboard so we won't do anything but we can navigate it to any page we want to. Uh, and then we can allow them to uh, do the lost password we have the remember me and the logged in message. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to style these fields. So the text color is white, I'm sorry, so it's black. And then we'll have everything else that white, that light bright, the white color. Links color, make that white. And link cover, we'll make that white as well. Button. We have that, and then we have maybe on hover, make that a little bit of a less a transparent one. We'll make that black, make that a transparent white. Something along those lines, just like that. So we have that, and then we can add our image right up to the top. We can add any image that we want to right here if we want to do so. Let's add this one. Let's add a background of white. All right, and then we can choose the border radius of 100. And then we'll add some padding to this as well. Make it 75, 75. Make this center, style this, make this width a little bit smaller. Make this 40, 40. Something along those lines. And then we can always change the top padding for this so that it's a little bit there. And we can always change the negative margin for this logo for the top so that it pops up there so it kind of blends in with this board that we have going on if we wanted to do something like that we have that and then we also have the ability to do social icons out of the bottom if they want to be able to share it or things like that I mean I'm sorry if they want to be able to visit our Facebook and things like that we can always have those options there or if you have the ability to add login for um, social media like Facebook or Google you can add you can add those sections down here at the bottom as well all we have to do is hit publish we don't have to worry about any of these conditions triggers or advancement rules just gonna save and close 
exit to our dashboard, visit our home page, and we have the client portal here. Let's go ahead and navigate to the main header that we've created with Elementor. Click on the button, and this is what we used to have. But now we're going to click on Dynamic, go down to the Actions, and pop up. And we're going to, we have two different options. We could do Open Pop-Up, or we can click on Toggle Pop-Up. Open Pop-Up just means that it'll open the pop-up. Toggle Pop-Up means that if you click on the button and it's open, it's going to close the pop-up. If you, if you click on the button when there's no pop-up, it'll open it. So we can, we can choose whether we want open or toggle, and I'm just going to choose toggle. And then we choose the one that we want. And then we have the login pop up there. Click update. Let's go ahead and navigate to our homepage and a fresh screen. And let's see how it looks. Boom, there we go. We have the ability to do this. Let's log in with our super secret password and username, and there we are. We've logged in and it took us straight to the About Us page. If you have your client portal, you can always just take it straight to the dashboard page or whatever page you want your clients to be landing on when they log in. And if they click on the while they're logged in, it'll just let them know that they are logged in already. So that's how we make a custom login pop-up using Elementor's new pop-up page builder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and be sure to turn on that bell for notifications for whenever we upload a new video. See you guys next time.